Hello, welcome to the podcast where you learn English language in the same way native speakers use it every day. The present podcast is about how to correct mistakes we make in English language. As human beings, we always make mistakes. How do we correct these mistakes and give the correct information in English? Knowing how to recognize the mistakes and correct them in English is the subject of this class. First, let us look at the expressions or questions we can use. Next, give you the complete sentences or questions on how the expressions are used. Finally, we provide you with a practice section where you can meet some situations where you have to recognize the mistakes and correct them. This will help you practice what you have learned in this class. So, let's get to it. A. Expressions for correcting mistakes in English. 1. I made a mistake. 2. I messed up. 3. It was my fault. 4. I dropped the ball. 5. It won't happen. 6. I will fix it. 7. How can I make it up? 8. I promise not to do that again. 9. I am so sorry about it. 10. I screwed up. 11. I mistakenly called the wrong name. 12. There is an error in that information. 13. There is a typographic error in the email. 14. I miscalculated. b. Examples of using complete sentences to correct mistakes. 1. I made a mistake I didn't send you the message. 2. I messed up myself by not inviting you to the party. 3. It was my fault for not finishing the project on time. 4. I dropped the ball when I saw you. 5. It won't happen, I promise you. 6. I will fix it, trust me. 7. How can I make it up the difference now? 8. I promise you not to do that again. 9. I am so sorry about the problem I caused you. 10. I screwed up myself in that homework exercise. 11. I mistakenly called you the wrong name, sorry for that. 12. There is an error in that information. I will correct it. 13. There is a typographic error in the email. I will send you another email. 14. I miscalculated the price. I am sorry for that. C. How to practice correcting mistakes in the following situations. How would you correct mistakes in these situations? You want to go to a private college or university. The cost per year is $25,000, but you said it was $20,000. You want to buy a car. The cost of the car is $21,000. You went to buy the car with $20,000. You want to go to the doctor. The schedule was at 10 o'clock. You thought the schedule was at 11 o'clock. You want to buy three pants or three clothes. You told the saleswoman to bring different colors, but she brought the same colors. You want to travel. You want to travel on Monday. The airline company gave you a ticket to travel on Tuesday. You want to study English. The teacher told you that the class is $25 per hour. You thought the cost is $25 per class. You want to buy a house. You have 30% for down payment and the 70% to be paid in 25 years. You think the 70% will be paid in 30 years. You want to go to Disney World. The complete package is $5,000 not including hotel accommodation. 
the company did not tell you that the package did not include hotel accommodation. You want to buy a product. You can pay cash only. You think you can pay in installments. You wrote email to your manager. He or she did not understand some words you used in writing the email. Imagine other situations where you need to correct mistakes or the other person has to correct the mistakes. You should practice more time with examples given above. You should always practice many times because practice makes one to be perfect. Do not forget to write your comment if you have any problems with any of the topics discussed in these podcasts. Thank you for listening to the podcast. I thought my heart was made to break Somehow I was paying for all my mistakes And that's just the way life goes But I didn't know That I'd be on all that I could see Was someone there just waiting for me In a field of flowers with colors that I'd never seen You brought me back